Hello, I'm Mac. I'm so glad to meet you again. Do you know what I've been doing? I've been singing. Hey, listen to this song. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> so, so how was the song? Good? Ah, uh, you're just saying that to make me happy, aren't you? Anyway, what do you use when you clap? Right, your hands. Well, today we're going to learn about parts of the body. So, sit back and enjoy the show. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. But before that, take a look at the other things we have in store for you today. Mr. Hans will teach us how to mix colors. Aha! My friend the word machine will be there after that. Later, we will take a look at proper nouns. We have another fantastic story for you. And we'll end with a great song. Aha! Here are some familiar faces. Remember them? Iswan, Lily, Nurul, Justin, Usha and Benji. Hi, I'm Iswan. Nick, what was the song that you were singing just now? Oh, it's called If You're Happy. Can you teach us that song, Nick? All right. Mm, but only if you can name the parts of your body. Nick, can I start first? Yes, of course, Nuro. And then I want each of you to name a part of your body. Let's start with the parts of the head. Mouth, nose, cheek. I, ear, hair, teeth. Well, I have nice teeth, don't I? <laughs> anyway, can you name the other parts of your body? Oops! Oh, oops! Oh, uh, um, uh, um, pretend you didn't see that. Uh, right. Um, uh, where were we? Uh, yes. Oh, come on, come on. Name the other parts of your body. This is my hand. This is my leg. This is my arm. These are my feet. These are my fingers. Good. Can you tell me what you can do with the parts of your body? This is my nose. I smell with my nose. This is my mouth. I eat with my mouth. These are my ears. I listen with my ears. These are my hands. I touch with my hands. These are my eyes. I see with my eyes. Very good. Okay, here's the song for you. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. So this is a job for Spellman! Hmm? Bing! 
fingers. Fingers. That's better. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mr. Hands. Today, I'm going to teach you how to mix colours. You need to get some poster colours. They are red, yellow, black and white. You'll need a brush, a palette, a piece of paper and some water. Let's begin. Put some red paint in the palette. Next, put in some yellow paint. Not too much of it now. Just a spot. And now, we'll mix it up with some water. Let's see what we get. Aha! We get a nice bright orange. Wow! Let's move on to the next colour. Okay, if you want to get a lighter shade of the same colour, we just add a little bit of white to that colour. Okay, let's try red again. A spot of red. And some white. Now, we'll get some water and mix it up. Aha! And what's this colour now? Well, it's a beautiful pink. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try and make grey. Okay, first we'll get some black and put it in the palette. Just a spot of it now, not too much. Oops, I have to press a little harder now. Right, there we are. Okay, then we'll get the white. And we'll put the white in to the palette with the black, some water, and we'll mix it up. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Black and white gives us Gray. There we are. Okay, now, these are not the only colours that you can mix. You can mix other colours as well. Watch this. I hope you have lots of fun mixing colours. Thank you for joining me. Till we meet again, you have a nice day. Bye! You can do it well How? With the word machine Take a look The big, big book Now it's the word machine Hmm We've got problems with our chapter title Some of the letters are Missing That first word should say chapter So which is the first letter that's missing? Ch A The letter A And here it is Thank you. Let's put the letter A back where it should be. And here are four more owls with letters. Now it reads, 
Chapter 5, The Big Bog Bug. Hmm, well, we'll find out what that is in a minute. But first, which are the five letters the owls brought in? A, E, I, O and U. Now, these five letters are a special type of letter called a vowel. Vowel. So, these five owls are the vowel owls. We are vowel owls, yes, it's true. We are A-E-I-O-U, yes, being A-E-I-O-U is what a vowel owl likes to do. <laughs> now, the interesting thing about vowels is every word has got at least one. So, let's see all the vowels in action. We'll start with the letter U. Ah. Now, what word does that make? B -a -g. Bug. Ugh, that's not very nice. I wonder where that thing came from. I think we'll try the letter O. Ah? Bog. Well, that's a soggy, swampy place for that horrible bug to live in. I'm glad it's only a little bug. Eek. Big. Oh, no. Now it's a big uh, bug. Eh? Makes beg. Like when you really want something to happen. I beg you. Ah. And the last vowel makes bag. Bag, beg, big, bog and bug. Ah. <laughs> It's a bug. A big bug. It's a big, big bug from the bog. It's a bug. A big bug. It's a big, big bug from the bog. Here's a bag. A big bag. It's a big, big bag for the bug. Here's a bag. A big bag. It's a big, big bag for the bug. Get the bug. In the bag, get the big bog bug in the bag. Get the bug in the bag. Get the big bog bug in the bag. I beg you, get the big bog bug in the bag. So there are five vowels, and today's special vowel is a. Remember the cat that sat on the mat? All words with a in the middle. Well, the. Uh, Let's try something different. Instead of cat, how about rat? Or bat? Or <laughs> yak? And they could sit on a map. Or a tap. Or a can. So, what's going to sit on what? It's the yak on the... <laughs> See if you can find any more words with ah as the middle vowel. Bye! <laughs>
Pulau Langkawi. Pulau Langkawi. Now, look at these sentences. This is how proper nouns are used. She is Zulaika Zakaria. I live in Sarawak. We are going to Taman Sentosa. Can you spot the proper nouns in these sentences? This is Chong Wei Kong. He is from Batu Gaja. This is Skola Kebangsaan Sri Pintar. Five, 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 five. Hi, it's story time again, and I have an exciting story for you. It's about a brave young boy. The story is called Jack and the Beanstalk. Have fun! Jack and the Beanstalk Once upon a time, there lived a lady and her son, Jack. They were very poor. They lived in a small house on a farm. They had a cow and a few chickens. Jack sold the cow's milk to get money for food. The cow was old and one day it stopped giving them milk. So Jack's mother told him to sell the cow at the market. Jack met an old man on the way to the market. I'll give you these big magic beans if you sell me the cow, said the old man. The beans will bring you good luck. They will make you rich. When Jack heard that, he quickly gave the cow to the old man. Jack ran happily all the way home. He gave the beans to his mother. She was very angry. She scolded Jack and threw the beans out the window. Poor Jack. He was so sad. He went to bed early that night. When Jack woke up the next morning, he had the shock of his life. He saw a tall beanstalk outside the window. Wow! This must be the tallest beanstalk in the world. It goes right up to the sky, said Jack. Quickly, he ran out of the house and started climbing the beanstalk. He soon reached the top. He looked around. He saw a big, beautiful palace. Hmm, I wonder who lives there. He must be a very rich man, thought Jack. He opened the large door and went in. Everything was so big. The table was big. The chairs were big. Even the fruits on the table were big. Suddenly, he heard footsteps. They were heavy footsteps. Everything in the house shook. Jack was afraid. He ran and hid behind a big broom. An ugly giant walked in. He sat down and ate the food on the table. Jack watched him quietly. When he had finished, the giant got up. He walked to a cupboard and took out a goose. Lay me a golden egg, he yelled. Plop! The goose laid a golden egg. The giant picked it up. He laughed loudly and then fell asleep. Wow, a goose that lays golden eggs, said Jack. I must have that goose. Jack crept across the room. He climbed up the table and caught the goose. It started to honk loudly. With one big leap, Jack landed on the floor and raced to the door. 
the giant woke up. He tried to catch Jack, but Jack was fast. He quickly climbed down the beanstalk. The giant followed him. Jack reached the ground. Mother, mother, quick, bring me the axe, he shouted. Jack's mother came running with the axe. When she saw the giant climbing down, Jack's mother swung the axe as hard as she could. She chopped down the beanstalk. The giant fell down and died. The goose soon started laying golden eggs for Jack and his mother. They became very rich and lived happily ever after. Do you know what happens when we join words together? We will get new words. They're called compound words. Let's see how this is done. Rich. Watch. Wristwatch. Wristwatch. Book. Shop. Bookshop. Bookshop. Foot. Ball. Football. Football. myself this time. Come back and join me next time. Till we meet again. Bye!